Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Cheryl. Today I'm going to be doing the mummy tag questions. There are 17 mommy questions and I was nominated by Kate Courtney O'Connor. I will leave her channel link down below. She just started vlogging a few months ago. So go check out her channel, give her a sub, see what she's all about. She has a very nice family. All right, so these mummy questions are gonna be a little bit different, I decided, since Kate nominated me to answer these. I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyways, but I'm gonna do a different little take on it. I'm gonna take you back in time when Ryan was like five or 10 years old, or maybe even younger, and answer these questions, kind of thinking back um, what it was like um, raising Ryan. And uh, this will be fun. And you can kind of get to know what it was like in my life um, by answering these questions uh, with Ryan when he was much younger. And um, so let's get these questions started. Question number one, are you a stay-at-home mom or a working mom and would you have it any other way? So to go back in time when Ryan was much younger, I was a full-time working mom, 40 plus hours a week, work my butt off to provide for Ryan and I, single parent. My parents, which are Ryan's grandma and grandpa, there goes a plane. Plane is gone, just about. <laughs> um, grandma and Grandpa were the daycare providers for Ryan, so I had it very, very nice. And now, um, the last seven years that we lived in Texas, I homeschool my son, so I'm a stay-at-home mom. Before that, my mom homeschooled Ryan when we were up in Seattle, and now I've taken over. And Ryan really enjoys being homeschooled. He wouldn't want it any other way. When we did move to Texas, the first year he went to public school, and he made it through that, and he liked it, but I gave him the final decision. Do you want to continue on with public school, or do you want to be homeschooled? And he chose homeschool. So ultimately, I've left it up to him all these years to continue doing it or not continue doing it. It's not my choice, it's his choice. And I'm gonna do what makes him happy, and homeschool makes him happy. Question number two, did you ever co-sleep with Ryan? We never co-sleeped. Um, maybe nap time, we would uh, sleep in my bed together when he was much younger. But other than that, he slept in his own bed. Question number three, what is your must-haves for a number one baby item? Man, what was my number one? I guess it was always to make sure that there was a baby bottle ready to stick into his mouth because man that kid loved milk and he was never into pacifiers if milk wasn't coming out of that little binky or the little nipple he was he would just spit it right out question number four how many children did you plan on having or do I plan on having one no more this is it I've got one and he's enough work question number five how many date nights do you have a month well, I was a single parent back in the day, so there wasn't very many date nights. But um, now that Ryan's older, um, probably once a week, once or twice a week, we try to make uh, time for date nights. Oh my goodness, question number six. What was your favorite child's TV show? He liked Dora the Explorer and Blue's Clues. He loved Blue's Clues. He really, really loved that. And Dora the Explorer was the next one. Oh, Thomas, Thomas Tank Engine, and uh, Winnie the Pooh. But I gotta say, Thomas and Blue's Clues. Those were the two favorite shows that he really liked to watch. Question number seven, baby products you've bought but never used. Probably baby powder. I don't think I hardly ever used baby powder on Ryan. He hardly ever got rashes or anything like that. Um, yeah, I don't think really remember using baby powder that often. Lotion, I did. I used lotion on him, but baby powder would be the number one. Number eight, what was your child's favorite food? Cheese, hot dogs, eggs, those types of things. He really liked those things back in the day. Cheese probably would be number one, and still to this day, he loves cheese on everything, so cheese. Question number nine, how many cars does your family own? Well, back then I only owned one car. Now we own two cars. Number 10, dream holiday with your children. Well, with Ryan growing up, 
The dream holiday that I always wanted to take him on was a trip to Disneyland in California. And when he got tall enough, I think it's 48 inches, I think he was 49 at the time, we made sure that he was tall enough so he would be able to go on every single ride. And so he finally got tall enough. He was at the right age. I don't remember how old he was, but maybe like eight, I maybe eight or nine, I'm, I don't remember. But um, finally he was tall enough, old enough, and um, we took him to Disneyland in California for three days and we had a fabulous time and I was just so happy to uh, make those memories with him. So that was the number one vacation I was looking forward to taking him on when he was younger. Question number 11, how has your life changed since having children? Well, once you become pregnant, your life changes. I mean, you, it changes. And every year they get older, it changes. And wow, I just think about all the memories, the last 17 years with Ryan. All the good memories, all the bad memories, all the memories, crazy. I can't believe he's 17. He's gonna be 18 this December. So cherish your time with your kids. They grow up really, really fast take every day to be very special with them. Question number 12. Finish the sentence. It makes my heart melt when my son gives me attention and a hug and a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> Question number 13. Where do you close shop for your children? Um, back in the day when Ryan was much younger, tight budget, single parent, thrift store, secondhand stores, and definitely always ask for gifts during um, Christmas time, birthdays for him, and family was always very supportive in helping out providing for me and Ryan. So yeah, that's how I uh, did the clothes shopping. Definitely secondhand stores. Question number 14, what is your favorite makeup and skincare products? Um, makeup, probably CoverGirl and skincare products, um, Neutrogena. Question number 15, Huggies or Pampers? It was Huggies. Question number 16, have you always wanted children? Um, let's see, I think for many, many years before I had Ryan, I didn't want children, but then when I had Ryan, I was excited about it, and I'm happy to be a mom. All right, so the last question, What's the best part of being a mom? Oh my, there's so many great things about being a parent, a mom, a dad, you know. Watching your child grow up, um, when they're first born, they're so tiny and small, and then they're five years old and they're starting to get a personality, and then when they're 10, they've really got their personality, and with a boy, um, it's interesting to watch their voice change, and their demeanor change and then grow into a young man. And now that Ryan's 17, wow, time has just flown by. And it's just amazing to watch him grow up. Um, it's amazing to watch their path in life, their likes, their dislikes. So there's just many, many, many things that I love about being a parent. And it's just waking up in the morning and knowing that Ryan's still here. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this mummy tag video. Um, brought back a lot of memories of when I was a single parent when Ryan was really, really little. So if you like this video, hit that like button for me. I wanted to say thank you for Kate to nominate me to do this mummy tag. It was really, really fun. I liked it. It was something different. Um, probably would have never thought about doing it, but it was nice to go back in time and answer these questions And then you all got to know what my life was sort of like when Ryan was little But now it's time to nominate another mum to do the mummy tag video So I am nominating the sweetie hearts and they are a three-person family they have this little boy named Oliver. He is so cute. They live in Sweden. So the Sweetie Hearts have been nominated to do this tag question video. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but it would be nice if you guys did because you have this cute little boy Oliver and I know that you've never done a question tag video and this would be fun and different for you all to do. So I will leave Kate's channel link down below and her mummy tag video. I will also leave the Sweetie Hearts channel link down below. 
So thank you all so much for watching and y'all have a great day and we'll see you in my next video. Bye.